Well, road conditions, especially those side streets, can be a public safety problem. Reg Chapman shows us what we can all do to help our first responders when every second counts. Our emergency crews are going to need your help today. With all the snow piling up and with it still falling from the sky, they're going to need you to clear a path so they can get to work. Emergencies don't stop during a snowstorm. It does add a layer of complexity to an already complicated job. Snow, ice, and all that comes with a winter storm impacts the roads. It's the conditions and driving in them that slows down emergency crews' time sensitive work. Our ambulances are rear wheel drive, and so it does make a little bit more challenging. And then when you add in parking on both sides of the street and you add in snow plows, uh, it does make it challenging. Hennepin EMS Deputy Chief Charles Sloan says there are ways you can make sure they can get to where they are needed. Well, making sure that driveways, uh, sidewalks and steps up to a residence are shoveled. Uh, and if you have some salt and sand mixture, putting some of that down will also help. Sloan says even when people are trying to navigate snow-covered roads in their own vehicles, they can still help. When you're out on the street and you're out driving, uh, you know, be aware of your surroundings, making sure that if you see an emergency vehicle coming up behind you, make sure you pull over, give them enough room and enough time to pass. When every second counts, it's important to make sure you give the person who needs help a fighting chance. In Minneapolis, Reg Chapman, WCCO, 4 News. And also remember to dig out any fire hydrant on your block so that it is clear of snow and ice. That'll save precious minutes in an emergency.